to me the other, yeah. uh, on Saturday you've been taking kids over since like the 90s and this was the best trip why was that yeah I think uh, I've been taking teams overseas since like 1994 and yeah it was um, I think this was the best trip you know no lost bags uh, no canceled flights no delays um, nobody got injured uh, you know the 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 tour was was well organized and you know we we just had a lot of fun so it was a it was a real success on the court was it kind of like what we saw at Otson with Portland State and Oregon not really tested yeah the two games in Greece the competition wasn't great but you know listen that that that's the 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 least part of my concern on on these trips um, you know the main thing is that we have a chance to, to bond get to know each other uh, the 10 practices that the NCA allows us before we go uh, to me though that's the most important and quite frankly our game in London was was really good uh, we played two quarters against the, the London Lions and they beat us and that was a good team uh, and then we played three quarters against kind of an all-star team from and, and we played much better there and, and won. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, a lot of players played well and everybody got a chance to play significant minutes. So that, that part of it was positive. Kind of unique to be that far away and play against somebody you coached, like Holly. What was that just experience of seeing her and how's she, how she doing, I guess? Yeah, seeing Holly was great. She's good. She's good, and I think she'll make herself eligible for this, this year's WNBA draft. It wouldn't surprise me uh, that she gets drafted. Um, and has a chance to make a, a team similar to Ina Ayuso a few years ago. So we've had actually a couple of one and dones. Decided to turn pro after a year, and um, but it was really good to see her and her parents and um, and, and catch up. She she's happy and doing well. What ways did you feel like you grew the most over the practices and then the on court experience, and then including the I guess non on court part of the trip? Yeah, well, the practices are invaluable. I mean, they, they really are because, you know, we, we just don't get a lot of time to work out with our team, and we have half of our team is our newcomers. Uh, so, you know, that, that part was really good, but there's, there's no substituting for just time away. You get a chance to get to know people at a different level. Um, you know, we were supposed to go and we're set to go in the summer of 2020 when we had all that, that great freshman class coming in and, and I'd like to think that if we would have taken a trip like this then, you know, you build deeper relationships with those players um, and, you know, things might have ended up different, you know, because that COVID year, we couldn't even, you know, once they were here, we couldn't even hang out with them. So we really had no opportunity to, to, to kind of bond. And so that's what these are for. And how did you feel that went? I mean, did you see, I mean, obviously it's a smaller team than a football team if they're going to go on a trip, but everybody kind of knows each other. But did you see those relationships grow even even more over the course of the time? Yeah, no doubt. And uh, I was really relaxed. The whole staff was relaxed. We had, um, you know, just a lot of fun. And, and we had players that, you know, took care of business. They, they, they didn't do dumb things that sometimes, you, you know, you can do when you're on the road. And uh, no, it was, uh, I, I tell you, all told, Chris was there with us, so uh, he can attest to it. It was, uh, it was a fun time. Everybody got along, and, and, uh, and we, we saw, I think, most of our team. I think there are only three or four that have been out of the country before. So for them to, to experience something like this, I think, can be humbling, number one, uh, eye-opening for sure, and just the sense of history that you get when you're in Greece and then London, um, you know, they, their, their worlds were open to them and they may not totally, um, realize that now, but they will in time. What did you learn maybe about just the way this, like what this group can be, what the strengths can be, maybe areas that you think need to be improved upon, like focal points now going into the months ahead of the start of the yeah, season? I, I actually was impressed. Uh, a couple of players really stood out. I thought uh, Peyton Scott, I thought played really, really well. And, um, you know, I think she's going to be able to step in and really contribute a lot right away. I loved her leadership. Um, we've got some jokers on the team, which is good, some real, some personality. Uh, Chris knows who I'm talking about. I won't say their names, and, and it, it, but it's a good way. It's an infectious kind of positivity. Um, you know, Kennedy Williams showed some, some good things. I thought Kennedy Basham played well. 
if you ask me, you know, we know what Grace can do, we know what Philly can do, we know what Chance can do. Those are three that we're going to really rely on as our veterans. But I thought Sophia Bell was fantastic. She played great at both ends of the court. She she made big impact. So uh, I think you you know we're going to see a real special player there. What is her? What is, you said both ends of the courts. What kind of things are you seeing there? Yeah, well, she's a really good defender. So she's the one that's been picking up the ball for us in transition. She's really long. I mean, she's 6'1 and just long arms and great timing, and she can disrupt the other team. I mean, there were a couple of times when she single-handedly defensively just, you know, I think she made a couple of those kids cry, you know, because she just, I mean, she was that, that good defensively. And then, uh, I don't know, in our three games, what do you think, made – 12 to 15 threes. I mean, she shot the heck out of it and, uh, and is good in transition. And um, so, yeah, I, I was really impressed. Is there an update on Priscilla and immediate eligibility? Uh, no update on Priscilla yet. Um, we have, I, I think, submitted all the paperwork needed. There's always some follow up on in those kind of instances. Uh, I sure hope we can get her eligible because Priscilla in practice really showed a lot of positive things. And she's a long 6'2 athlete that can really shoot it and, uh, and is a good defender. Uh, we played a little bit of zone over there. And at times we were 6'8", uh, 6'7", six, six, and, and then Grace at the 3. We played Grace at the 3 a lot. And so, uh, you know, she's really long and Priscilla, like Grace, can be a really long two or three so um yeah but that's out of our hands it's in the nca's hands now did, did you see enough of grace as a three to think that's something that she can do this year for you yeah. guys too yeah grace you know i feel like she's got pro potential certainly and uh, to, to to be a pro i think in that league she's going to have to kind of transition to be more of a perimeter player uh she's capable there's no question and we're, we're um kind of tweaked our offense so that we can get her more minutes at the three. Some differences in the staff this year too. I'm just curious on how all those, I mean, this opportunity you mentioned for the players, but also the yeah. staff to get to know everybody. How was it for Trey and, and all the additions and all the new faces there? I've been impressed with Trey. I mean, he's a, he's a cool guy, <laughs> you know? Um, and, you know, I, I trust his basketball instincts, his knowledge. Uh, he has fit in se seamlessly. I think, um, you know, my team was excited about about when we hired him uh, so yeah he he's great and he's done an awesome job recruiting uh, our fall recruiting has been terrific um, and then uh, Lisa O'Meara formerly Lisa Bush that people might remember from local is is phenomenal I mean that that's been a revolving door for us we hire these young kids that you know we've had six different people in that position in nine years all six got Division One assistance jobs, so that's why they take it. But I think Lisa might be here for a while with us, and that'll that'll really I think help. Yeah, she's uh, she's incredible, and her husband, big time. Yeah, he's big time. We had a lot of fun. We spent a lot of time with him. What would be some of the, the focuses here with, you know, a little month and a half over till the season starts? What, what's kind of the schedule look like for you guys? Well, we gave the team about three weeks off after the trip, three and a half weeks. And so they're all at home. They're, none of them are here in, in Eugene. They'll be starting to, to roll in here in a couple of weeks. And then, you know, we'll start practice on like the 28th of September and we'll have exactly one month before we play. So we've got uh, at least a jump on things. But like I said, those 10 practices were invaluable. Um, but, yeah, we'll have a month to kind of iron some things out and just get better and get ready for, um, you know, I think it's going to be a real challenging off season. How do you kind of approach that, that time off? You know, obviously they're resting. They're thinking about the season, but they're taking a break before it gets started. But what does it look like for you? Yeah, well, as coaches, we don't get time yeah. off. This is our job. And uh, September is a month where we can actually go out and, uh, and meet with, with recruits and then go see them. So I don't like to recruit during the season in terms of leaving, even on an off day. I, I want all my attention to be on the current team. So I... I spend a lot of time on the road in September. Nice. You know, I'll be uh, in probably 10 states here in the next two weeks. So, nice. you know, that's kind of what we have to do. Right. A couple weeks ago, you guys tweeted out the video, uh, Ula getting the scholarship. Yeah. Uh, what was that moment like? And it's been a while since you've had an Oregonian, on, a native Oregonian on the team. 
Or I guess she's not native, but she went to South Medford. She did, yeah, and Bella Hamill. So we actually have two this year. It's pretty neat. I mean, you know, she uh, she was here at school last year, paid her own way. Um, and, you know, we invited her in the spring to kind of come out, work out with the team. And the team said, you know, coach, she's pretty good. And then so we invited her to, you know, summer workouts uh, as a student and, you know, we have a scholarship available, and so, you know, she earned it. And, um, you know, I kind of a, you know, it's a dream, I, I, I think, especially for an Oregonian uh, to receive a scholarship here. And, and most importantly, I think our team was really happy for her. So that was, uh, that's a special moment.